today I am going to do a haul for you guys. Um, over the weekend I went to Chicago with my husband and his parents and his brother and his fiance. Um, they live uh, a couple hours away from Chicago um, so we were able to hop on a train and take it right into the heart of Chicago, dropped us off right at Millennium Park and uh, we wandered around and looked at some of the you know the touristy stuff like the the bean and navy pier and all that and of course I went shopping uh, so you're going to see some stuff from places that I've never shot before but was very excited to visit and try and I've also got uh, some Forever 21 too which obviously is not new um, but the Forever 21 in Chicago, it's two stories. Oh my goodness, I thought I was going to die and go to heaven. Uh, so I ended up like abandoning my husband and all the men in the group were like, I'm going to go to Forever 21. I, I might be back in time for dinner. Um, so I was quite excited uh, to, to be able to go and go shopping. Um, but I'm going to stop talking and get on to showing you the stuff. Uh, I guess I'll just start with um, Forever 21. Um, like I said, the, the store there in Chicago is two stories. First thing I got were these shorts. And they are kind of high-waisted, um, which is good, but they're also um, longer. They're not like booty cut shorts. And they're kind of this faux tweed. And I've been looking for uh, kind of a faux or tweed like um, shorts um, to wear with like tights um, not right now because it's snowing outside it'd be too cold but uh, maybe if we get a slightly warmer uh, front come in or the that area where it's transitioning from winter to spring where you can get away with wearing shorts um, with tights um, so but I really I really like these um, the color is nice because they got a lot of neutral colors in it. There's some red tones to it, um, but there's a lot of uh, tans and browns in them too. So I'll be able to uh, pair these, I think, with a lot of different tops. Next thing I got was this sweater, which I'm not quite sure what animal print this is. Um, it's not leopard, but it's not, I almost want to say... I almost called it giraffe, but I don't think it's giraffe either. I'm not quite sure. If anybody can identify this animal pattern, please let me know. Uh, it's definitely an animal print. Um, but it's just a real light knit. Um, it's got this button detailing on both of the shoulders. On both of the shoulders? No, it's just the one shoulder. Okay, I lied. It's just the one shoulder. It's got that button detailing. Um, it's kind of long, but um, I think I'd be able to tuck this into like a, a high-waisted skirt. Um, or leave it untucked over a pair of like skinny jeans or something with some boots. But I've been wanting uh, an animal print. I was actually looking for a cardigan, you know, a button-up cardigan, but I couldn't find anything. But um, I liked I like the feel of this one. I like the I like the pattern. So um, so I got that. And I got this top, which. This top is pretty basic. It's just uh, just your basic knit kind of t-shirt material. Uh, scoop neck with the uh, kind of bat wing type sleeves, although the short sleeves. Um, it's got the banding at the bottom. This, I think, um, if I do it right, I could wear with those tweed shorts. Um, otherwise, I mean, this is basic. It's just this rust burnt red color, um, which would be good for uh, the winter and going into spring so I could I could wear this with a lot of things. I just love these shirts that Forever 21 has. They're, they're really inexpensive. They come in all sorts of colors and they're so comfortable. It's like wearing a t-shirt but a bit more styled I think so but I really like that color. And then last thing I got from Forever 21 were these shoes. I actually saw these on somebody's blog but I can't remember who it was, but I thought these were really cute, and they kind of remind me of Chanel, because I know Chanel's got some ballerina flats kind of like this. Obviously, theirs will probably have the, the quilting on them, but this nude with the black and the bow, they're just really girly, um, 
not normally something that I would buy, but I just was really drawn to these, and they're comfortable too. Uh, the next place that uh, I got stuff from is from Zara. Um, I know uh, there's a lot of other YouTubers that love Zara. I know like Dulce Candy 87 she loves Zara. Um, a couple others uh, do as well, and some bloggers that I follow also love Zara. Unfortunately, I don't have one near me. Um, first I got this uh, shirt, this t-shirt, and it's oversized. Um, the, the front is a little bit shorter than the back, uh, but the whole thing is oversized and it's got these kind of uh, cropped short sleeves. And on it, it says, My Travel Diary, and it's got uh, this kind of sequins, gemstones on them. And it's got some more um, dispersed throughout it. But I just I really like the the uh, the thing on it. It's got it's got like Florence, Paris, Stockholm. It's got this Volkswagen uh, Beetle in the middle of it, which I thought was kind of cool because um, my uh, father-in-law is really into Volkswagen bugs. So he saw this and he was like, "Oh, that's so cool! I love it." So, um, but it's kind of I don't know. I just I really liked it. Um, and it's fairly inexpensive too, because I know Zara can be expensive, but I managed to catch them with some really good sales. So I got that. Next thing I got was this sweater, and it's three-quarter sleeve, at least it is on me. Um, and it's uh, just a kind of an acrylic. It's not cashmere or anything, and the, the fur trim is faux fur as well. It's not real fur, although it is really soft. Um, but it's this really cute um, sweater with, it's got little tabs on the shoulders and then this the hoodie with the fur trim all the way around and along the front and it hooks closed instead of having buttons. Um, but it's really warm and it's got pockets, it's got pockets on the front too. Um, but it's just really warm and it's really cute and I like the, I like the faux fur trim. So. And then last thing I got from Zara was this sweater, and it's, it's kind of plain, pretty basic. Um, it's just a, a knit uh, sweater, um, long sleeve, um, with the, the scoop neck. Um, it kind of reminds me of Mr. Rogers' sweater. Um, I have a thing for knits and sweaters. Uh, my dad wore sweaters kind of like this back when I was a little kid and I don't know why but I always just been drawn to um, kind of old man Mr. Rogers type sweaters so don't ask me why just uh, something I picked up on as a kid and has carried on today but uh, obviously with the the pink the fine pink stripe this makes it a bit more girly um, but I just I don't know I just really I really liked it um, I like the price too, because it was like ten bucks. Um, so, but I think uh, I think I'll get some good use of this, uh, especially now it's gotten really cold. The next store I've got stuff from is Topshop. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get I didn't have a lot of time to be able to really explore Topshop. Um, the one that I went to, it was like two or three stories. It was huge, um, and I never got any further than the uh, the first floor. Um, because we were kind of in a hurry at that point. But uh, I did pick up a few things. Uh, first, I got these tights. It's kind of these knit tights, uh, the ribbed, and they're kind of this burnt orange color. Um, I've got some skirts that are uh, like a dark brown that I think these might go well with. I'll have to, to play around, play around with them because I don't usually wear colored tights, but uh, these were, uh, they're nice and thick, which I think will be good for the cold if I end up wanting to wear like a skirt or something. Probably with some boots. Um, and I picked up these earrings, and kind of like my sweater. I have no idea what animal this is. Um, uh, my husband thought they were a bear. Um, I don't think the shape of the head really kind of looks like a bear. I almost want to say it's like a coyote. Um, there's one of them. 
but I, the, the tag didn't give any indicator on what animal they're supposed to be, but I just thought they were really cute. Next is this necklace, which is really long, and it's got this uh, frog at the end, and kind of like those earrings, he's all blinged out, and he's just on the end. Well, I guess it's not really bling. Yeah, he is. They just kind of blend in. They're green. Um, but the chain's really long, and I think this would just look really cute with, like, a plain top. Um, maybe a pair of uh, studs. And uh, let the uh, let this be the statement of the, the outfit. And then the last thing I got from Topshop is this necklace, which kind of has a ombre effect to it. It's, it's gold and then fades into a lighter purple and then into a darker purple and then fades again and then it goes back into gold. Kind of like the frog necklace, the, you know, this would be like the statement piece of the outfit. Everything else you'd want to be really simple, um, maybe with some real basic earrings and that's about it. But uh, I like statement type necklaces. Um, I think, you know, you take something simple like jeans and a t-shirt and a pair of boots and uh, really kind of give it a little oomph. And then the last store that I've got stuff from is Lush, which I know Lush is covered by so many people and I can kind of see what the hype is about. Their, their stuff is really nice. I mean, I walked into the store, it was actually part of a, a Macy's. Um, but I walked into the lush area and I mean just the smell it was like whew, it smells so good Obviously lush it can be expensive um, But depending on what you buy um, You can get your money's worth. Um, I just got three things um, first of all, I got this uh, Bath it's a bath bomb. But it's not the the typical uh, round bomb shape. This is the ickle baby bot and it's it smells really good. I haven't used them yet. Whew, excuse me, tickling my nose. Um, obviously, um, I usually take a shower and I haven't had a chance. And yet, I actually need to clean out my bathtub first before I can uh, actually take a bath. Uh, next thing I got is actually in this tin. I got the tin too. Um, but inside is, if I can get it open, there we go is this uh, moisturizing bar and this is uh, ooh, it's all slimy this is uh, full of grace and I'm using this oh, good I am uh, I'm using this as uh, a moisturizer um, it smells kind of I almost want to say musky um, it's not a fruity smell at all um, but it's uh, you just take it and rub it between your hands to warm it up. You get a little bit on your on your hands, and I use it um, at night after I wash my face. Um, I just take and rub it all over my face, and then I do it again in the morning before um, I put on my makeup. Um, but uh, it's it smells good. I mean, like I said, it's not fruity. It's kind of musky, but it still smells good. And I mean, I've been using this since I got back, and I hardly made a dent in it. You do not need um, to use a whole lot of it. A little bit does go a long way. Um, but I get really dry skin, especially this time of year. Um, especially on my face. Um, so this, uh, I think this is helping. Because um, even my regular moisturizer, I was still getting dry patches. And so far I haven't had that problem since, since using Full of Grace. Uh, the last thing I got is the Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter, um, and this smells so, so good. The guy at Lush that helped me said that they put six sque whole squeezed lemons in every single container of these. I don't know if that's true or not, but it certainly smells like it. Um, if you, uh, if you're familiar with, um, uh, I forget what they're called, the, the Girl Scout cookies that they used to have that were the lemon ones. Um, they had the lemon filling in the middle. That's This is what these remind me of. But I'll, I won't eat it, even though I probably could, because their stuff's all natural. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not going to eat it. But uh, I get its label is a cuticle butter, and 
I have been using it on my cuticles, both on my hands and my feet. Um, but this works so well. Um, pretty much anywhere you have dry spots. Um, you wouldn't want to use it as an overall moisturizer, but if you have spots like your elbows, your knees, that kind of thing, um, this works really well and you do not you need a whole lot of it. Um, like I said, that's um, kind of a nice thing about some of the Lush products is um, the ones that will last you forever. Um, they're worth the money, I think. Um, I've been using this uh, pretty much every day, two since I bought it, and it's been almost a week. And uh, I've barely made a dent in it. I mean, you can see kind of there in the middle where I've stuck my fingers in it. But beyond that, I've barely made a dent in it. I mean, I just a little bit on the tip of my finger does the cuticles on both of my hands. And again, the same thing, all the cuticles on my, on my feet. And then I've been using it on uh, my really rough patches. Like on my elbows and my knees and around my ankles on the back, on the... Achilles on the back of my ankle and, <coughs> and those type of spots that regardless of how much you moisturize they seem to end up dry. Um, so that's everything I bought in Chicago. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Um, like I said I was very excited to be able to go. Um, I mean I had lots of fun hanging out with uh, my family you know, my, my father-in-law and my mother-in-law and my brother-in-law and his fiance and my husband. Um, it was a great weekend to be able to spend time with everybody. Um, the shopping is just an added bonus. But overall, it was just, uh, you know, about spending time with each other. Um, especially now that, you know, the semester started, so uh, we'll be really, you know, my husband and I will be really busy with uh, school and all that so um, but um, I will put uh, information for the stores that I went to uh, links for their websites in the box below I also have pictures and video from our trip that are on my blog the link for that is also below um, if you like what you see please hit the thumbs up button if you're not a subscriber please hit the subscribe button above and I will see you guys next time all right